Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, so I got busy for the last couple of days, definitely. Little bit preoccupied with work and a few other extra things as well uh, in real life. And a few other sponsorships for my main channel. But I figured, you know, today I got like 20 minutes before uh, my live stream. So I figured let's do a little bit of stuff right here. Let's do some PvP, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, Kyrian. Alright, so hopefully I'll be able to showcase uh, him in this particular video. But my main concern is I want to showcase this particular uh, new operator that we have, Jung Da-in. Okay, so Kyrian is very good against this particular one. Alright, so we have Awakened Ju Shiyun right here. Alright, so Awakened Ju Shiyun. You know, I don't think he can do much to... to Okay, this is uh, going to be a very intense one. Very intense. Okay, so look at that. So we're gonna put uh, Veronica right here. We're gonna activate our Jung Day In. And we were able to get rid of... Okay, so we are able to get rid of uh, Awakened Jushun right there with Kyurin. Alright, and then there's an Elizabeth down here. Which is always very, very interesting. Elizabeth is always very interesting to, to fight against, let's just say. Alright, so we have Revet. Revet is always good. Okay, so we're gonna send in the Swordsman. Lucretia. Okay, very surprising. Okay, but yeah, Soldier Team reigns supreme this week on C server. Looks like we'll be getting this uh, easily, I think, with Warden as well. So make sure once Warden is available to farm, which will be later on for you guys in global, make sure you guys farm, farm him. Alright, he's going to be very, very... Uh, Extraordinary. So let's have a look at that. I'm quite surprised uh, the Jushin died quite fast, consider fast considering that he was able to counter uh, Kyurian's skill right there. But yeah, Lucretia and uh, Awakened Jushin is also something that you see a lot this week. So that's a good one. So let's move on to the next one. So yeah, this particular uh, operator definitely a big fan of. Speaking of which, right? So uh, definitely I got her up to level 40. My current crit damage resistance is not my favorite. Uh, I would prefer something better like AoE damage rest, melee damage rest. But it's not too bad. Uh, I can see currently at level 1, attack speed plus 29%. Alright, so hopefully we'll be able to showcase more of her. Okay. Okay, now this is going to be an interesting battle right here. Alright, so we see a Kyurian versus Kyurian in action right here. Can we, can we reign supreme? Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. My Kyurian. I'm still running... Uh, and an attack speed set. Okay, this is a different ship entirely. Okay, so let's send in. So let's see if we got this. Okay. That is uh, very interesting. Very interesting. So let's see if we can send in our own Kyurian. And then I'll need to activate my operator ASAP. Alright. So one, two, three. So hopefully do that. Uh, sorry to have to sacrifice Revenant that way, but... You know, we, we got no choice. That's the, that's the best that we got. Okay, we're gonna send out... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. I should have considered him as well, as an option, right? So we're gonna send out Revet here. Okay. Okay, did we got it? Okay, nice! We won the mirror match, let's go! Let's go! Okay, here's the thing about Overflow, right? That guy was using Overflow. Overflow doesn't fit Soldier Team that great. Just because uh, you don't really... I guess you get the buff still, right? He's a Soldier and Mech. Overflow feels like he fits Mech way better than Soldier. But his current didn't have Skill Haze as well, uh, based on what I've observed. So let's have a look if that current has any Skill Haze. Yep. You can see Crit Damage current right here. Uh, interesting. Crit Damage, huh. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad option, right? If you don't have... Obviously, Skill Haze is the best one that you want for PvP. But not everybody has the best in slot, alright? You get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you gotta settle for the second best in slot or the third best in slot. So I'm not sure. I feel like second best in slot is attack speed, uh, followed by third best is going to be... Maybe that's a crit damage. I'm not sure if crit damage is going to be better because he doesn't crit. And now we have Chris. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So we're gonna send in Kyurian. Uh, Irie is... Interesting? <laughs> kind of? Okay. Okay, so I guess Veronica is something that we will try to go for. Uh, do revert for now. 
Horizon is a pretty good counter actually, I would say, right? So get the Operator right here. Yup, look at that. That Horizon was able to get rid of my Akurian, surprisingly. Uh, Chris is there, well, then we have uh, Elizabeth, and then we can drag her in. Yeah, but in the end, like... Okay, saving for Awaken for sure, right? Okay, so no, no saving for Awaken. In the end, as a soldier, you still have the the cost to benefit advantage, right? As a counter team, once you lose, you lose. Like for me, it's like for me, every soldier unit is like two costs. Yours is three costs or four costs, depending, right? For counters, so that's something to always consider as well when you are building one. Soldier team is very fun, and like you guys should try it out. I don't know why people are too skeptical or they are too scared to try out soldier team. And it's not because uh, players don't want to build soldier team. It's just because they tend to stick to what they're comfortable with and that's totally fine, right? But if you're willing to try something new, highly recommend you guys to, to get out of your bubble, uh, to try something new, all right? Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Give this a shot, right? You are not, you're gonna be surprised of how much uh, you're able to do, you know? Okay, another soldier guy right here. <laughs> wow, surprisingly. All right, so let's go, let's go. Uh, we'll do one more, last one, hopefully. Let's see if this particular one... I'm going to show you guys my gears at the end and you'll be... Yeah, just just take everything with a short gauge and decide for yourself. Soldier teams, extremely cheap to build. Uh, not, not super expensive as well. Okay, so we're going to go with Rifleman and... Okay, this is going to be a little bit expensive. I want to activate my Operator fast. So I'm going to go with something like this, right? Uh, I love I like this operator. So this is the Horizon team, right? Horizon team is always very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna send Shieldman in again. So let's see who is winning, huh? Who is winning? Choi Ji Hoon, Choi Ji Hoon this, Choi Ji Hoon this, huh? So we put in uh, put in my Veronica last. As you can see, right? You just swarm the enemy. What are they gonna do? Revenant is so good, man. Like, seriously. Revenant is just so good. Uh, crucial. I, I know I said that was going to be the last one, but because that was so quick, let's go for one more after this, all right? So, like, you can see it's so flexible. You don't really need Curian most of the time. And it really depends, right? You, you have to judge the situation based on... Try to react based on what the enemies have. Don't just be like, okay, uh, I'm going to use Curian. Like, ideally, in this particular team right now, I'm putting my priority in the Operator actually. If you look at how I deploy my units, it's going to be I want to deploy Defender, followed by Sniper, followed by Striker. Awaken, Jushun, alright, so let's see. Let's see if this is going to be any different, uh, hopefully. Again, uh, Awaken, Jushun is quite scary, right? But let's see if we got this. Uh, we might have to use Kyurian for this one. Might have to. So I'm going to put a Sniper. Okay, so we're gonna use Kyurian at the end. So his Jushin is so far back. It's like so far back. So I think he's planning for something extraordinary, right? Ooh, Jaina to tank! Ooh, what is this threat? That is insane! That is insane that he has Jaina to tank. Okay, I like his threat, I like his threat. Okay, he has Luna as well, okay. I accidentally put my unit 2 front. Okay, nice. Nice, he, he will actually win this I think. Alright, if I'm not careful, that is. Lily is there as well. Alright, we lost. Yeah, that Jaina to tank actually works. Good strat there, good strat. Uh, make sure Awaken Ju Shun survive. Actually, Lily won that battle. I also make the mistake of putting my, uh, what is that? My Warden 2 front? When you put your Warden 2 front, that's like... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Luna in a while. Uh, I think this is the first time in like 10 matches I've seen a Luna. Uh, who is that? Awaken Shinja, alright, makes a lot of sense. As long as you protect Awaken Jushun, if your, if your strat is revolve, revolve around him, right? And yeah, uh, also my Kyurian was a little bit too front as well. Uh, definitely that's something to, to consider because Kyurian, the, the, his weakness is also his strength where he cannot get pushed back or he cannot get knocked back. So that's something that you have to keep in mind always uh, when you deploy him, 
uh, he cannot get knocked back, so therefore he's always in the position disadvantage if enemy has a backline, uh, killer, whatsoever. Alright, so here are my gears, hopefully give you guys an idea. This is what I have on Rearm Revet, full attack speed, uh, spectral chain, spectral, I know this is a spectral gear right here. Crazy, right? It's actually crazy, attack and evasion. Obviously this is not the best set for enemy riflemen, but hey, it works. Uh, attack speed on Kirin right here, and then we have... Uh, HP Evasion currently, not the best in slot, HP Defense, and Spectral Spirit. Alright, something that I do get asked a lot for Veronica, and last but not least, Spectral Blaze, and HP on Revenant. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, subscribe, give this video a like, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I need to go and start preparing for my live stream. Have a nice day, bye!